Boxing has always had characters. They make the sport what it is today. September the 11th will see two fighters who have very different stories to tell as they prepare to step foot on the world stage. For one, it is the chance to return to a happy hunting ground, a home from home all the way from the Canadian mountains. For the other, it caps an unbelievable return from the gutter, deep from the grip of alcoholism all the way to a world title shot. We follow both fighters as they go through the final eight days before the fight. This is Molitor Booth, Inside Out. Say hello. <laughs> First time picking a world champion up, we've been around the world in 80 days. And we were collecting at Gatwick, uh, ferrying him up to the hotel in uh, Russell Square. We're at a press conference promoting the show, um, see what it looks like, see how fat he is. Um, and then we're going to ferry him up at Sunderland where he can finish off his training before the big fight next Saturday, Saturday week. Steve, long old flight. I hope you've got your teammates here as well. Good to be back in England. Good to be back in England. I've been here since I won the title uh, the first time. My man Colin Fish, me, he was a sparring partner for uh, your boy Carl Froch to the Kawasaki fight. Olympic bronze medalist Chris Showtime Johnson. We're a winning team, baby, all the way. Um, but it has been a long day, isn't it? You're going to be tired now already, I mean. Yeah, I'm tired. You know, we left last night uh, late Canada time. You know what I mean? It was a long flight, packing our bags. I worked out twice, so you know I'm looking to looking to get to Sunderland and just uh, get some rest, take my day off. So I just want to I just want to get this uh, day over with. Press conference first, so I saw a chance to speak yeah, to the cameras. Right, yeah, speak to the cameras. Let everyone know that Steve Mulder is back in town again for win number four, and you know we'll go from there. It's in here. Layla Jensen. It's in here. A Layla Jensen. Oh, upstairs. Oh, she's upstairs? For, for that um, suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll go and sort it in a minute. I'll tell someone to go and do it for you. Come on. Could make my night even easier, but you know what I mean. Uh, since my loss to Cavalier, you know I haven't had my best performances, but they're getting better every time out. And you know, me and me and Chris are satisfied with the training camp we had. We feel it's the best one we've had, so it'll, more, it'll be our best fight September 11th. I say it's mad. I don't think he's past his best. I reckon because he's old and eyes the uh, different steep points and then he's on the fight. You know what I mean? And um, if he's past his best, what does that make me? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, uh, Steve said you've looked at um, hours and hours of footage. What is it that you look for when you study a fighter? Is it so have you always studied every opponent, or? Me personally, in my career, no. But um, uh, 
when I'm training somebody, I don't jeopardize their career, so I do study. Um, we see that uh, Jason is a very quick fighter, likes to throw uh, quick flurries. He loves to left hook to the body, but that will never touch us. So I don't know how Jason's going to beat us. I mean, I try to go through every aspect and see how he's how he has a chance, but he's in there against a giant. And I mean, we've done everything we had to do. We, we run, we hit the bag, we did everything we had to do. And Steve is a consummate professional. Sometimes I have to pull him away from working out. And uh, he's just ready. So Tony, you've got no chance. We've got every chance, you know, because we've done the same thing. We've branded out the hard work. And now we're on the speed, and that's it. Incidentally, we could have had this fight in our hometown. Frank opposite it, but we didn't want it in our hometown. Jason's always been better on the road, and he prefers to fight in anybody's backyard rather than in his own city. And uh, as you know from his record, he's fought everywhere. In the last two years, he's had one fight in Nottingham in two and a half years. Doesn't bother him. As clubs will travel. Steve, you talk about uh, Jason being 5'4. How, how tall are you? I'm 5'8. And uh, Caballero is obviously about 6 foot. Yeah, he's used to you for 6 point easy. That was a long time ago. Caballero, Caballero ain't here today. He'll be here September 11th. It's a long time ago. You heard Stefan Roosh. This is not Steve Molitor. Wow. Combination of right uppercut. Was it his height that threw you? Was that? Was it his height that caught you out in that fight? No, there's a lot, a lot of details that were, that were fucked up that night. It's, it was a long time ago, my man. Is full of fight, fire, right hand, and that's it. Boy, the referee just read his eyes, Luis Pabon. I'm not here to talk about Cavalero. I'm here to talk about Jason Poole. Okay, I mean, obviously, you've been over here before the fight, Hunter. Does that give you a Is lot of When you box Hunter over here, Michael Hunter, that gives you a lot of confidence, I presume, going back after the North East. Just, the, just the training in general, and you know, it's sure coming here before and being big, victorious gives me confidence, but you know, I know the hours that me and Chris put in the gym for this fight. I know how good we feel, I know what we've done in sparring, that's what gives me the confidence to fight and win. When the bell rings, the crowd and people don't make a difference to me whatsoever. That's, that's, it. that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just no, 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 side on, they've got to be dead side on. That's, that's, that's it, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 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 We'll get that in a second. Yeah. Jace, look up. Good. Get those heads right in each other's faces. I'll be up to your hotel, Mark. Yeah, I'm late. Yeah, I'm late. 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 Looking at you or face to face? Face to face. Face to face. Can you get those heads close? Jay, get him right close. Can you, Steve, you, could you flip the hat around? Just say, just the start, my man. Yeah, you Nah, I'm just, I'm an old man. Okay, then just look over your heads, both of me. So get in a bit close, Jay, that's it. And we're going to look like this. Here. Yeah. We come to pick a fight with a big tip. <laughs> does it does anything get under your skin like um, no. you know, I don't feel it. you haven't got a chance no, or no, 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 no. not as big as I thought it would be, you know, like watching him on TV and being face to face with it. No, yeah, be all right. Nothing that nothing they can say that can worry you guys. Oh yeah, no, good no. fine, no, no. My mum scares me more than he does. <laughs> Mum's not fighting, stop, stop upsetting me. Mum's not fighting. Don't upset me. It's all right, I'll put it there, but don't fight it. Look, 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 he's on the way. I'm not worried about the weight, I'm just hoping that he's mentally right and 100% right. 110% right. This is his big moment. He's hoping you're mentally right. I'm never mentally right, that's the problem. I'm never mentally right. We haven't met Jeff Powell.
Thanks very much, Frank. Good luck. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Um, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. And I think um, we're going to come out victorious. Do you feel um, better now you've seen him? Does it make a difference? Uh, no, 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 no. No, because in the, in the, the gym, you know, we've we basically got that person in there thinking about him all the time.